welcome to Do It Like a Dancer. So today let's talk a little bit more about Limon Technique. Limon Technique is one of the things that is the most popular on this channel. Um, so I thought I'd delve into it a little bit more, um, maybe make a few more exercises on it. Um, but today I want to talk about kind of more of the concepts behind it and how you do it with your, with your body. So I've talked about Limon Technique. I've also talked about do the swings of Limon Technique. Um, and I have a few videos about, you know, technique, uh, Limon Technique combinations, exercises, Limon Technique based exercises. Okay. Um, so again, I am not uh, formally, formally trained in Limon Technique, but I uh, worked a lot of it when I was dancing in South Korea. So that's how I know about it. So um, today I've want to talk about what is called the moment of suspension. So in Limon Technique, one of the main concepts is the fall and recovery. I've talked about this before, but the kind of the swing of the body with gravity, um, finding the rhythm of it, and that, that swing, the fall, the recovery, is central to Limon Technique. But Included in that is the moment of suspension, and that's the kind of moment in the swing at the top where there's this sort of hesitation before it drops and swings back. So it's not always, it's not like a pendulum or a metronome where it has this really even swing back and forth. So that's a good way to begin. But when you think about it, and when you also with the laws of physics and all that, um, you know, a swing is not always perfectly regular. So it has this drop at the bottom and this moment of suspension at the top. And so this is something that, um, that part of the Mo technique works to cultivate, right? to find in the body that moment of suspension. So you can see, here with these arm swings, this is the, the normal, regular, you know, beat. And here is adding in the moment of suspension. So the, the thing about working with this in the body is that you find, you know, you ha do have to work with the rhythms of gravity, but you also have to shape it. And this is something that fits in with the idea of phrasing, right? So if I, I don't think I have yet, but I should make a video about phrasing, um, which is something that um, choreographers think about a lot. Um, it's something that postmodern dancers try really hard to get away from. It's, so it's, 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 it's kind of all over the place, but it is a really important concept. And if you've never intentionally worked with it before, um, it's, it's worth it to do so. So I'll do a video on that. Um, I think maybe I've done one about music. Um, so you can check that out here. Um, but essentially, the, the suspension works in different manners, right? So there's the one manner, which is every swing, there's a moment of suspension. But then there's also longer phrases where you have the gravity that moves you around and then it pauses in this moment of suspension and then drops. And Finding the phrasing of this and the rhythm of this is um, something that's, I think, quite interesting. So I think that where Limon Technique gets interesting is when you can kind of blend this swing rhythm with a longer phrases of moving and suspending, moving, suspending, moving, 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 suspending and coming down. So to sort of learn to modulate the different, the different amounts of time that you can spend in those suspensions. Maybe you can take one suspension and hold it for as long as possible before dropping it into something else. Maybe it's just a quick breath, you know, and this is also where breathing at the same time is, is really, really, really important because finding the rhythms in your body and with the breath and using your breath to help regulate these rhythms and the suspension moments is, um, is, is really helpful. Um, 
So that's that's essentially all there is to say about that. Um, it's but it's something that you do need to practice. So you you, you know you can see here um, is me playing around with this. It was at the end of a workout, so I was really tired and kind of all over the place. But you know sometimes I manage to do it and sometimes I don't. Um, but that's why practice makes perfect. Um, so uh, let me know what you think. Um, happy to explain a little bit more on it. And um, in the coming weeks, I can't make too many promises about when, but I will try to give you a, a proper um, combination and exercise to work on this. If you like what you see, share it with a friend to do all the YouTube things, you know what they are. And I could not do this without the support of my Patreons. If you'd like to know more about that and get backstage peeks into what I'm working on, what I have coming up, and what I'm thinking about and reflecting on, then head to the link in the description, patreon.com slash Jillian Rhodes, Jillian the Performer. Um, you can always find out more about my creative work on my website, jillianrhodes.com, and my Instagram, Jillian the Performer. I have lots of really interesting stuff coming up. I have some new things that are going to be launching in the next couple months that I'm really excited about. So do keep your eyes open and as always, thank you so much for supporting this channel. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.